In the time that President Russell M. Nelson has been presiding over the church, there has been many big changes, and I've begun to see an exciting pattern that I feel has been a long time coming to the church, and how we implement the gospel into our lives, and that is what I want to talk about. There has been three major changes in the last year or so that I feel are connected. The changes involve how lessons are conducted, the changes to home teaching, now called ministering, and finally, to our church. Sorry about that, I got a little excited, but let me explain. In my opinion, these changes are similar in that they no longer expect us to be just another butt to fill a seat at church, and instead into active and engaging members of the church. A good example of this is the discussion format that some of the classes has changed to. I was in the Elders Quorum Presidency when these changes were made, and we were a little worried on how this was going to turn out, because the instructions were essentially to choose a topic prayfully, and then begin a discussion about it in class, and then stand back and see where it leads to. It was a little weird at first, but eventually most people ended up participating in the lesson. It was interesting to see more of people's perspective and opinion on things, and have them share their experiences. I feel that this open format puts more responsibility on the members to participate, and better helps the spirit teach us than just a strictly made lecture. The next big change was ministering. I still feel weird using the terms ministering brother and sister, but I guess I'll just have to get used to it. Ministering was a revelation for me when it was first announced because it just made sense. No longer did we have to go through those forced and awkward last day in the month lessons with members, and instead we could do what comes natural to us, which is build relationship with others. I feel that home teaching kind of forced you to interact with someone in a specific time and place, which for many people was difficult and made it stressful. Ministering on the other hand, when done right, can be fertile ground for building an actual friendship among two people, which looks different for everyone. You can build a relationship by playing a sport, if that's what you want to do. Or maybe who you minister travels a lot, so you can send them a text to see how they are doing, or you can go out to eat at a restaurant one night. It's no longer a checkbox we need checked every month to make ourselves feel good. Instead, it's a call to action to minister to others in a similar way that the Savior did when he was on earth. The last big change was the announcement at General Conference about two hour church. Sorry about that again. Anyways, the first thought that came to mind when they announced this was yay! more Sunday naps for me. But then President Nelson elaborated why the church was doing this. He said that it is time for a home-centered church supported by what takes place inside our branch, ward, and stake buildings. I couldn't agree more with President Nelson. The purpose of having less church isn't necessarily for rest, but instead it puts more responsibility on families to building a more Christ-centered home and being more proactive with their Sunday worship. Parents are going to have to take charge on Sundays if they want their children to grow in the gospel, which is what I think God expects from us. We can no longer rely solely on church members to teach our families the gospel. It needs to be a family effort. I look forward when I get married and have a family to figure out with my wife what we think is going to be the best way to teach the gospel in our homes on Sundays. I am excited about these changes and looking forward to implementing them in my life. What do you think about the changes happening in the church? Leave a comment below with your reaction. I hope you enjoyed this video and remember to subscribe to keep watching more videos. Talk to you later.